Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and The Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to The Young and The Restless teasers, Phyllis Summers and Nick Newman will reconcile between May 13 and 17, giving them the opportunity to open up and lean on each other. Nick will begin by confiding in Phyllis. So he may say he is concerned about Victor Newman's vendetta against Jack Abbott and how his father is handling Nikki Newman's rehab. Of course, Nick may be concerned about Nikki's sobriety, as well as the ongoing turmoil with Summer Newman and Claire Grace. In other words, it appears that Nick will be agitated and needs someone to vent to. Therefore, Phyllis will gladly lend a sympathetic ear. Once Nick is finished, Lee and our teasers suggest that Phyllis will also confide in him since she is just as concerned about Summer. There will also be some new developments about Daniel Romilotti Jr., as Phyllis' attempt to assist him will fail due to all of the legal mayhem. Furthermore, Phyllis will be feeling quite down about Danny Romilotti happily heading out on tour with Christine Blair, so she'll need some encouragement. Is there a chance that Phyllis and Nick may go back in bed together now that they could need the stress relief? Nick rejected intoxicated Phyllis' suggestion the last time she brought it up, but if she brings it up again while sober, he might be more open to it. Although Nick is aware that reverting to past behaviors with Phyllis never ends well, the temptation may be too strong. It would be exciting to see Phyllis and Nick give in to some passion behind closed doors, so stay tuned for further predictions on how far their reconnection will go. According to the Young and the Restless teasers, Nick and Phyllis will bond over all of their distressing news, so keep an eye out for updates on what happens next for these two. According to the Young and the Restless spoilers, Nikki Newman has finally entered rehab as a result of Jack Abbott's fairly unscrupulous method of communicating with her as her sponsor. However, Victor Newman claims that Jack may have been responsible for Nikki's death and seeks retribution. Will Nikki be home in time to help? The Young and the Restless Spoilers This move was a last resort for Jack Abbott. According to the Young and the Restless Spoilers, Jack has exhausted all of his choices with Nikki. Nikki reportedly had bottles of vodka in which she planned to drink herself to death. Jack couldn't let this happen. So Jack did the only thing he believed he could do. After all, Nikki wanted Jack to be her sponsor, and Jack could not disappoint her. Victor was really unhappy about the situation. Victor did not want Jack to be Nikki's sponsor and cautioned him about the consequences if it didn't work out. Victor believes Jack's tactics could have caused more harm than good. What if Nikki had overdosed as well? Nikki saved Jack, he did not save Nikki. Lie and R spoilers. Nick Newman tried to reason with Victor Newman. Nick was relieved that his mother had decided to go to rehab and seek help for her alcoholism. When Victor returned after dropping Nikki off, he informed Nick that Jack had almost killed his mother. Nick backed Jack because he knew without Jack's sacrifice, his mother would not have gone to treatment. Nick points out that Jack was the one who nearly died. Victor himself informed Nick that Nikki needed to call the paramedics for Jack. Nikki was not hurt in any manner. That makes no difference to Victor, who is envious of Jack's ability to communicate with her when he was unable to. Victor wants to be Nikki's sole hero. The young and the restless spoilers. Jack Abbott waits for Victor Newman's rage. Jack spoke with Nick about how he is ready himself for Victor's retribution. Of course, Nick does not believe Victor will pursue Jack because Nikki is on her way to recovery. However, Jack reminds Nick that he underestimates Victor's need for revenge. Jack knows what's coming. Will Nikki be able to stop him? Nikki may return home to discover that Victor has turned on Jack. Victor might go after Jabot or Jack himself. Victor might even try to destroy Jack's marriage. Whatever the case, Nikki will undoubtedly be unhappy with Victor's behavior. Can Nikki persuade Victor to let go of Jack and be happy that she is okay? The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Monday, May 13, 2024, are here. 
Ashley Abbott's changes are likely to greatly disturb Alan Laurent. Coming up on The Young and the Restless. Tucker Bacall faces a struggle. Also, Audra Charles and Sally Spectra have another heart-to-heart. I and R teasers for Monday, May 13 indicate that Ashley's alters will continue to fight for dominance. Alan has traveled from Paris to Geno City to assist Ashley. Ashley's alters will no longer entertain Alan as a psychiatrist. However, as a friend, this is different. If everyone is so concerned, why isn't Ashley in a psychiatric facility? Alan may mean well, but he is no longer a practicing psychiatrist. So, playing these games to report back to Tracy is not helping Ashley improve. She requires actual treatment. Tucker McCall's Challenge Audra was not pleased when she discovered Tucker hanging out with Ashley and Alan. Ashley then made a rude joke to Audra. Tucker took cover after Audra whisked him back to the suite. However, Audra understands how difficult it is for Tucker to keep away from Ashley. Tucker couldn't help but introduce himself to Ashley's bar partner. Tucker may feel obliged to intervene as Ashley's personas spiral out of control, and she does increasingly outlandish things. However, this could have a negative impact on his relationship with Audra. Audra Charles' Solution The Young and the Restless According to Monday's May 13 Spoilers Audra and Sally will talk again. The most common topic is Tucker. Audra will eventually want to stop talking about Tucker and find out more about Sally's friendship with Adam Newman. Sally and Adam appear to be doing well. So well that it's turning into a snooze fest. Of course, Sally may open up to Audra about her career goals and obstacles. At some point, Sally asks Audra a tough inquiry about when it is appropriate to walk away. It's unclear whether Sally is referring about Tucker, Adam, or something else. Fans will also watch Jill Abbott drop a bomb that leaves Lily Winters, Devin Hamilton, and Nate Hastings reeling. While they have been devoted to Jill throughout the present storyline, something happens that makes them reassess their decisions. Young and Restless Spoilers from Monday, May 13 to Friday, May 17. Tucker does a kind deed, Kyle puts his foot down, and Phyllis tries to help, but it hurts. Young and Restless Spoilers for the week of May 13. Young and Restless Spoilers for Monday, May 13. Christine and Danny begin a fresh chapter, with Paul behind them and Phyllis moving on to other matters. Can these two eccentric kids finally get together and stay together? Divin and Nate, well knowing that there is a fox in the hen house, plot an evacuation strategy for their enemy. Perhaps they'll tell him, so Billy, we had a fantastic idea for a new podcast for you. It's all about your deepest, most inward ideas. Want to do it or not? Since Adam is left to console Chelsea, we might assume that her meeting with Connor did not go well. We wonder if Sally remembers that Billy's presence for Chelsea was the catalyst for Lily's connection with him to shift to the past. Young and Restless Spoilers for Tuesday, May 14. Lily receives disturbing news from Jill. Perhaps she choose to settle Daniel's lawsuit? It's possible. But the next spoiler suggests otherwise. Daniel swallowed his pride. Does he go asking the ex with whom he cheated to get his previous job back? Frankly, this should be a spoiler every day of the week. Audra questions Tucker's loyalty. If we were her, we'd be wary even on vacation. Young and the restless spoilers for Wednesday, May 15. When Ashley's altar devises a dangerous plan, there might not be a single attractive pianist or silent bartender in Geno City who is safe. As Sally finds herself at a crossroads, she may leave her newest company. Is Adam next? Tucker demonstrates himself to Devon, possibly by fixing a problem rather than inventing one. If Daddy Dearest is concentrating his attention to Chancellor Winters, there are clearly enough concerns that need to be resolved. Young and the Restless Spoilers for Thursday, May 16. Phyllis attempt to help Daniel backfires. Sometimes, Mom, the best thing you can do for your child is nothing. Audra does a power move, but which direction? Is she planning her future with Tucker or securing a more prosperous tomorrow for herself? Working with her lover, his family, 
and her uncle was bound to put Abby's loyalty to the test. Young and Restless Spoilers for Friday, May 17th Victor's revenge plan against Jordan takes a hazardous turn. Has she discovered a way to remind him why her first name has always been crazy? A previous marriage is at a turning point. Nick confides in Phyllis. But does he truly need her advice, or may he wind up giving her a renewed sense of purpose? Did Kyle receive veto power in the divorce settlement? Could be, as he overturns Summer's decision on Claire. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.